This video shows motions generated for a quadruped robot using trajectory optimization. A goal position for the center of mass is specified and the optimal body motion and footholds are found. The quantity that causes the movement of the body is the position of the center of pressure shown by the red dots. Physically, it is only possible to generate a center of pressure inside the convex set of the stance feet. These convex areas are the transparent patches. Simply by changing the contact schedule, which determines which leg is in contact at what time, a variety of different motions can be generated. The geometry of the support areas of each of the motions is very different, ranging from support triangles as seen in the walk to more restrictive support lines and also support points. Since the approach can handle support lines as well as support areas, transitions between these motions can also be generated. In this contact schedule, the swing phases of the front and hind legs are gradually overlapped, transitioning from walking to bounding. For a transition to pacing, the steps of the side legs are gradually overlapped. The support areas change to line contacts during the full pace in the middle of the motion, and the center of pressure remains inside these lines. In contrast to the previous motion, the support lines now diagonally intersect at the center. This allows the center of pressure to be closer to the center of mass and therefore creates less sideways swaying of the body. This motion can be seen as a combination of the previous, with support triangles and support lines oriented both in walking motion and diagonally. These are created since the next leg in the sequence is lifted slightly before the previous leg touches down. Again, the center of pressure is optimized to always be inside the transparent areas. By allowing only one leg in contact at a specific time, motions with support points can also be generated. This is a very restricted state as the red center of pressure must lie exactly inside the foothold, fully determining the dynamics. This limping motion shows the center of mass automatically shifted towards the single contact to better balance the weight of the robot. Biped point foot walking shows the extreme case, in which no support areas exist and the red center of pressure must always lie exactly inside the current foothold. This clearly shows the advantage of vertex based constraints, since point feet cannot be represented by traditional hyperplanes. By using a non-zero initial state created by an external force, and constraining the final velocity to zero, push recovery behavior can also be generated through this formulation. Finally, we show that motions generated by the optimizer can also be executed on real hardware. We use the initial state of the system as given by the IMU and vary the goal state and contact sequence to reach it. The optimizer plans the body and end effector motions seen in the top left in real time. This Cartesian plan is transformed to joint torques using projected inverse dynamics. The actual position of the body, given by the state estimator, is shown by the red-green coordinate system. In conclusion, we presented a trajectory optimization formulation using vertex-based support area constraints. This enables the generation of a variety of motions and behaviors for which previously separate methods were necessary.